if you get a sense of your abdominal muscles, notice if you're breathing into them. Is a breath moving the muscles in and out? Can you get a sense of how you feel on the inside of these muscles? Can you get a sense of how it feels facing outwards from these muscles? And when you get a sense of this front part of the lower abdominal region, then just clench your, tu your tummy muscles in and then just let them drop. Notice any reaction. And then bring your attention up to the upper body. We've got the muscles of the chest, the pectoral muscles, breathing muscles. And once again, it's quite useful just to notice how the breath is moving this part of the, the body. When we're stressed out, quite often the breathing is up here and it can be a little bit accelerated and a bit shallow. When we're relaxed, the breathing can drop into the belly and become much deeper and slower. So just take a minute now to notice your upper breathing muscles and to sense the speed of the breathing, how deep or shallow it is. And then when you get a sense of feeling this part of the body, I'd like you to take a deep breath and then just release it, let it come flying out. Just do it once more. And then just allow your breathing to return to normal and and just get a sense of how this part of your body is responding to it. You may notice the front of your rib cage. You may notice across the back of the rib cage and your spine. How far does it feel from your sternum at the front to the back on the chair or on the couch behind? Does this feel a long way or a short way? Then we come to the shoulder muscles, very, very useful to just feel the shape of your muscles. Feel, see if you can feel where your shoulders are. Do they feel pushed in to the neck? Do they feel pushed up to your ears? Do they feel like they're just going straight up towards the ceiling? Do they feel like they're pushing backwards? Or do they feel hunched and rounded forwards? Don't worry if you can't feel your shoulders. A lot of people have tension in the shoulders and when there's a lot of tension, the body can be very numb. And as you bring your attention into the shoulders, notice how they are. Notice in particular their position. That's a really useful thing with, shoulder, with shoulders. And then just give them a wriggle. Just clench and relax them by wriggling them. And then drop them, let them relax, and notice any more awareness creeping in as you do that. With your arms, can you feel where your arms are? So relax by the body, on the side, or maybe you've got them resting on the body. See if you can feel the shape of the body, and in particular, feel the shape of your arms, and in particular, notice whether you can feel inside them or not. Maybe you can feel the inner part of your lower arms much more readily than your upper arms. Do your arms feel thin? Do they feel strong and wide? Or do they feel that sort of thin feeling? Can you feel the temperature of your arms? Then I want you to clench and relax your arms. You have to use kind of the whole arm and hand system to clench and relax the muscles. And then notice once again any reaction or movement. Then bring your attention to your hands. Can you feel all the fingers and the thumbs? Can you feel your palms? Are they buzzy? Are they? Do they feel that tired, nervous, frayed feeling? Do they feel calm and smooth and relaxed? And then just wriggle your fingers, stretch your hands and let them re relax and see if you can get a sense of how they react 
having moved them. Almost at the end now, we take our attention to the neck, and necks are notoriously numb in my experience. Um, I don't know why this is, but a lot of people often feel nothing. They can feel like there's a gap between the head and the body. At, at best, sometimes people can feel aches and pains there. Just see if you can get a sense of your neck and how far to the back your head feels or how close it feels. Does your neck feel squashed flat or does it feel long and thin? Can you feel your throat at the front? maybe swallow. Can you feel the place that swallows after you've swallowed? And the general neck shape, if you just move your head a tiny fraction of a millimetre to one side, then back to the middle, and a tiny bit to the other side, and back to the middle. With these tiny movements, it's often much more revealing with the neck, because we're used to looking around very very automatically, but if we slow it right down, you can often feel much more of our neck. Or you could just push your head nose down or move your head back, and that's another way of accessing the neck. Then we come to the jaw, another place that we're used to talking with and moving around automatically. So once again, it's really revealing to notice the jaw with tiny little movements. So if you just relax your jaw, and then open it a tiny bit and then relax it or move it to one side or the other but a little bit is much better than the way I just did it just feeling into your jaw and then if you just move it around um, clench and relax it and then relax what are you left with and then finally We've got the muscle, muscles of expression. You can move your nose, twitch your eyes, move your cheeks around, and see if you can get a sense of the face sitting on the front of the head. Some people can move their scalp. I can't do that. Some people can move their ears. Um, I can't do that. And um, all the way through, just noticing the feeling that you're left with in the various parts of the body. If you can't sleep or if you're struggling with tinnitus, I recommend doing this technique often. If you don't feel like doing it, I don't, wouldn't recommend forcing yourself to do, do this. The last thing we want to do is to stress ourselves out. But if you practice this, you can expect to feel more and more in detail what's going on inside. It's like a voyage of discovery through the felt sense of the body and it can be incredibly grounding and very, very helpful.